Hey, what's up, guys? It's that Metal Guy 1983 coming to you guys with the final double feature of Country Boy Brewing. Oh, yeah. Make sure to follow Big Hazard Barbecue. Steve hooked it up with these beers. These are the final two. First one we're going to review is that damn there Cougar Bait. Who doesn't love cougar bait? You want to attract them cougars. 40s and plus. Hey, yeah. Let's get it popping and percolating. Yeah. So we're about to crack into this beer. I'll give you guys a little bit of a further look into it. And hopefully, some exclusives come into my hands down the road. This is their American Blondale. 12 ounces. Cougar bait, American Blonde Ale. Any fisherman worth his salt will tell you it's all about the bait. Lucky for you, you're holding the good stuff. An American Blonde Ale. Clean and crisp cougar bait is sure to help you with your catch, whatever you may be fishing for. Brewed and canned by Country Boy Brewing. Georgetown, Kentucky. Hell yeah. Let's get it popping. Let's get it all up in here. Oh, yeah. Nice, clean and crisp. Crisp, from what I can see in the can, into the glass. Definitely looks like a very, very clean ale. Right through that, you can see, right? Make sure to follow Country Boy Brewing and Big Hazard Barbecue, Steve Cladell, Cadell at on Instagram. And I'll link everyone down below. You know it. Oh, yeah. Cheers. That's very easy drinking. Just goes down super smooth. Hmm. Now, why do they call this cougar bait? Because a lot of them cougars be basic, and you want to be able to fish them and be like, here, have this, this nice little, little bait right here. Come on in, we're gonna reel you in. And come in for the attack. You know what I'm saying? I know you know what I'm saying. Mm. That's the can right there. Country boy brewing. It's got a guy fishing making an interesting face. To say the least. Um, they're out of Georgetown, Kentucky. I don't see an alcohol per volume, but I would probably guess this is more like a 4%, something close to that. Very low on the uh, alcohol per volume, but definitely crisp and refreshing. Check them out. That's their hat right there. Orange and white is kind of their signature scheme there. As you guys can see. It's getting... Those crisp malts off there and hops, nothing danky, nothing heavy, just straight across, clean across the board. Keep on rocking and ow, oh. hello, yeah. So I've stopped filming, but I'm gonna add this to the end of the review of my cougar bait. You know another way you attract cougars? By chugging, baby. We're going to finish the rest of this beer. Cheers. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hey, what is up, oh yeah, Army? This is the last and final segment of the Country Boy Brewing Double Feature. What do we have in store for you? I guess I'll keep you waiting for like 10 seconds. Are you ready? 
Are you ready? We're talking about shotgun wedding. Oh yeah. Speaking of shotgun weddings, I actually had one. Not legitimately where there was a shotgun involved, but my wife was pregnant when we got married. You know what? Doesn't fucking matter. Here we are 11 years later. Still happily married. Keep on rocking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're out of Georgetown, Kentucky. This is Shotgun Wedding. This is a brown ale aged on vanilla beans. What you know about that? All right. So let's read their little segment here. Go ahead. Pop the top. Do something spontaneous. This light brown ale aged on real vanilla beans is sure to become one of your favorites. Just another malt to be to balance the sweetness of the vanilla. Shotgun wedding is a decision you will never ever regret. Or never regret. Let's see. There in George, Kentucky. Does it say the alcohol per volume? No. Do we care? No. Because any alcohol is good alcohol. If you don't agree with me, <coughs> kick rocks, motherfucker. All right. Here we go. That's definitely a brown ale. I'm excited to see what the flavor on this is. Look at that, guys. Great brown. There's some amber at the bottom. That light brown. You can't see it really through my camera. I need to get a new phone, but, well, you know, priorities. About a two-finger head on that. We'll let that die down. We're going to snap this Country Boy Brewing hat around. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Country Boy Brewing, for sending this out to me. I really appreciate y'all. Look forward to trying more in the future. You guys kick some serious motherfucking ass. And uh, if, like, a keg of nacho bait made it to me, I wouldn't be sad. Just kidding. You know what would be cool? Nacho bait with, like, a sweet twist to it. Just saying. Sweet heat, hit me up. Anyways. Oh, whoa, look at that. I got some on my nose. Whoops-a-daisy. All right, so this is supposed to be a brown ale with vanilla beans. It's aged in vanilla beans. Let's give it a taste. Definitely get the vanilla bean there. It's definitely a brown ale. You got that maltiness, right? But it's not like a stout. It's definitely still got some crispness, crispness to it. You'll have to excuse me. This is brew number five in this review lineup. So yeah, I'm I'm fa 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 feeling it. Anyways, this is the last beer in the double feature series that I'm reviewing, reviewing for Country Boy Country Boy Brewing. God damn, when I'm buzzed, I can't fucking talk. Save my own ass. But this is gonna be their shotgun wedding. It's a nice day to start again. It's a nice day for a white wedding. Shotgun wedding. Here's the color. You guys can see that. Cheers. Just a very enjoyable brown ale. Out of every brown ale I've had, this is probably the best. It knocks Newcastle out the park. <laughs> They're gone. Here's Country Boy Brewing. And this is Shotgun Wedding. Being aged on vanilla bean made the difference. This is delicious. If you guys are looking for a brown ale that you can drink several of, it's right. Chia.
and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Fucking comment till your heart's content. Share this video with other craft beer nuts, craft beer enthusiasts, craft beer lovers, anybody who loves beards, beer products. I also do that. Let's grow the oh yeah army. Let's keep the fuck rocking. Spread that message of peace, love, and understanding. Yes, Black Lives Matter. Right now, more above anything else. Yes, let's promote that. Spread peace, love, and understanding. Spread love to everyone and everything. Keep on rocking. And ow! Yeah. Oh, yeah.